you've made a movie in stop motion station and you want to share it with the world you want to share it with your friends you want to see it as a conventional movie file but stop motion station has stored all of the frames of the movie as individual jpeg images and you need to turn those into a movie file somehow well we'll exit stop motion station either by pressing the q key or the windows conventional key alt f4 stop motion station gives you a chance to back out if you don't want to quit but in our case we do so we'll go back to the desktop the program that we use at quickdraw to turn the jpeg image files into a standard avi file is called virtual dub mod this is an open source program and it's completely free it has its quirks of use of course but so do all programs so we go to our selection of programs on the uh, computer here and open virtual dub mod now in order to convert your files you first of all have to find them so we go to file open video file curiously enough is exactly what will do it and our video files are on the C drive of the computer in stop motion and the first shot that we did is this one in the folder called 2000 underbar movie 1 so we click on the first of the image files that we want to convert say open and we see that they've shown up in virtual dub mod the second thing that we have to do is set the frame rate that we want to use that is under video frame rate and we'll change that to 12 frames a second because that's the way that we had stop motion station playing them back click on OK then we can go to the playback controls down at the bottom of the uh, frame have a look at what we've got and there was our animation played back we move back to the beginning of the movie we can also move through the movie to check things out and see if that looks all right that's all we need to do to import the frames into virtual dub mod to get them out again we choose file save as and on type of file we have the a variety of choices we're going to use an AVI file which is the standard file format on Windows we are going to choose the type of compression to use compression is a huge subject but the very best thing to use for creating a file that you can pull into an editing program is uncompressed it makes large files but it saves everything that is in the original images and it takes the minimum amount of time so what we'll do is just give our file a name enter something like this is shot one click on save and it saved the frames as an AVI file if we go into Windows Explorer and find our files on the C drive in stop motion in 2000 movie 1 we see at the very end of the list there's our shot one AVI file if we double click on it it'll come up in a media player and play back so there we've created a very short movie in stop motion station and turned it into an AVI file that we can pull into editing software this concludes our introduction to stop motion station there's more to come